Welcome back to the Chrono Talk channel and in this video about materials used in watchmaking I will talk about bronze. So bronze is used to make watches, specifically the case of the watch, uh, merely by aesthetic reasons. There's absolutely no technical reason to make a watch made of bronze. So speaking about the material itself, bronze is a metal alloy that is made basically by copper and tin in the classic proportion of 88% of copper with 12% of tin and also small traces of other metals like aluminum, zinc or nickel. And bronze is also one of the oldest metal alloys invented by mankind that even gave the origin of the Bronze Age that started on the year 3300 before Christ in the Middle East. And basically, man discovered that this alloy was very good to make uh, not only tools, but also structures because it was very resistant mechanically and also very stable and very resistant to corrosion because it could be exposed without suffering corrosion and oxidation. And the reason for that is because it's an alloy that is capable of forming a passivation layer made of copper oxide. That, that's what gives that uh, slightly greenish uh, hue to the, to the patina. And in this video about stainless steel, I explain what exactly is a passivation layer. And it's basically the same, the same reason why the bronze is an inoxidable alloy. That passivation layer is exactly what protects the base material from corroding. And the use of bronze in watchmaking is a kind of a new thing. The first watch ever to use this material was the famous Panerai Bronzo that was launched in 2011. And Panerai was always a brand that was very attached to nautical things and also diving because diving was part of the, the history of the brand. And in 2007, uh, the brand helped to restore a boat called Alien. And at that time, the Panerai CEO, Angelo Bonatti, he came with the idea of making a watch that could make a homage to the to this uh, nautical tradition. And they found out that mating, making a watch made of bronze, the nautical bronze, that which is slightly different than the classic bronze, that nautical bronze is made of 92% of copper with only 8% of tin and is even more resistant to corrosion than the classic bronze. And basically that was the bronze that they used to make a lot of parts of that boat. And he came with the idea of making a submersible model with that material. And then it came the submersible 1950 made of bronze, also known as PAM 382. And this was basically the father of all the bronze watches that came after. And the very special thing about this watch is that it is capable of developing uh, the patina in a completely random way. And this means that your watch will never be or will never look the same as another bronzo because the formation of the patina depends on how much you touch the watch and um, how you clean your watch. And all of this make a, a completely different and random pattern of the formation of these this stains, even the, 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 the lightly greenish stains that, that the forms over the surface. That's also, uh, you have to be aware if you were looking for a bronze watch, is that you have to cope with those stains. If you, if you are not happy with those stains, you better not choosing bronze as uh, the material of your watch. And that's it. Hope you like it. Hope you learned something new from this video. In case you didn't subscribe yet, don't forget to click on this logo of the channel here and give me your thumbs up for this video and stay tuned.